Hi there, how's it going? <laughs> Hi. So I'm Winona LaDuke, and I'm Executive Director of Honor the Earth, and I live up on Round Lake um, here in the White Earth Reservation. And I'm Carrie Pickett. I'm the director and producer of First Daughter and the Black Snake, the documentary film that follows Winona LaDuke and her family and community as they fight the Enbridge Sandpiper and Line 3 pipelines. So people often ask, ask why Carrie decided to do this film, and she has kind of an interesting story. We've known each other since we were young women, 23, 24? Yeah, 25, something Some, Something, something, something like in the that. young era, yeah. Yeah. And so for years I've uh, followed Winona LaDuke as um, she's been doing very epic things and I'm interested in people who are fighting bad ideas. And so Winona seemed like the perfect person to follow because she fights a lot of bad ideas. And when, um, you know, so I've spent most of my life, I've lived most of my life on the reservation. I moved back when I got out of college in 1981, which was kind of the height of the battle over the land rights on, on the reservation. And I, I was involved in that because I really believe that, you know, the future of our people, we, we need to ha be able to have our land. We need to be able to live off of our land. And a lot of our people are ricers and a lot of our people are, you know, harvest a lot of medicines. And, the, and right now is maple syruping time. I went out and tapped yesterday to see how it's coming and the sap is coming in and it looks to be a really good year. You know, so we're people that live, you know, in this land up here and, and we really love it. And, uh, over the past years, there's been a lot of challenges. We've seen, you know, bad logging operations. One proposal, when I was really young, there was a proposal to put a nuclear waste dump on the White Earth Reservation. They called it the uh, Headwaters Nuclear Waste Repository because it was the headwaters of the Mississippi River. That was like one of the really bad ideas, and that was in the, in the early 80s. But um, Kerry kind of has been watching this, and, and in, the early, in the early part of um, this century, um, it's always funny to be able to say that, huh? Um, we've, we were faced with the proposals by the University of Minnesota to do research and... So in 2005, I followed Winona to the state capitol as she fought the University of Minnesota's attempt to patent, genetically patent, wild rice. And so I never could no, have and, imagined... And engineer. And, and, and engineer. They, they wanted the right to engineer, um, genetically engineer wild rice. And at some level, I felt like, and I think a lot of people in Minnesota feel like, wild should mean something, like not genetically engineered, right? And so, you know, uh, she started filming kind of what we are doing then because there's this, you know, this community that, you know, let's just be honest, a lot of bad things happen to our people. You know, a lot of bad things that happen to our people and, and uh, you know, we, we, we see these big things coming our way and we're like, that's not gonna work out. You know, genetic injury wild rice would really affect us. And so, you know, the latest thing, which is that we are facing, you know, I mean, aside from the catastrophic climate change problems <laughs> that we're all around. Or us, tied to the catastrophic uh, climate chaos. Tied to is, chaos, is these pipelines. Is because um, the, the climate chaos is coming from, you know, too much carbon in the air and a lot of the arc carbon is coming from the fossil fuel industry. And so in 2013, when I saw that the Enbridge Corporation was announcing that they were gonna put Sandpiper Pipeline right through Winona's wild rice territory, I was like, oh, well, I don't think she's gonna go for that and I wanna see what she does, how she handles this. Because I think that, um, you know, we can all study about civics, um, but if you see somebody engaged in a, having a civic life and a full civic life, that's how you really learn. And so I started following Winona, and anybody who knows her knows that's a very um, difficult feat to follow Winona because you've got so much going on. A lot going on. Just a tremendous <laughs> amount going on. There's, you know, the family and the farm. The and more family, and then the, the horses, and then I think people in Becker County know that I grow hemp, too. So that's, that's after the film. So this is, but film. this is, this is, you get the epic idea of this woman's ideas uh, fountain. So I decided that I really wanted to, to film her. And so for about two and a half years solid, I stayed behind you and beside you and in front of you and tried to get my, uh, my, my eyes and my brain wrapped around all that you're doing. And I've learned a tremendous amount about the 1855 treaty, about wild rice, more than I ever could have ever known about wild rice. It's so amazing, so beautiful, the journey of the rice, about how, um, you know, Winona's not just fighting bad ideas, but she's promoting good ideas. So throughout 
throughout the film, you see her attempts to um, bring local food production to the area, and you see her growing corn, and there's just a really a lot that you've got going on. And then at the end of the film, I don't want to give it away, but um, the you know when you start a film, I always like to say this about a documentary film. When you start a documentary film, it's like buying a really expensive one-way ticket but you don't know where you're going <laughs> and so you know when I started filming I had no idea what would happen what would Enbridge do what would you do what would and throughout the course of the film you there's a lot of twists and turns that are very surprising but at the very end of the film the very last day of filming for me was a very important and auspicious day for Winona because she has this um, spiritual horse ride that she's been doing for the last uh, four years and on the, well, f five years now, but on the, the, my last day of filming was the final day of her fourth year of riding against the current of oil. And um, the following day, we got some big news. That was right. That's when the Enbridge Corporation announced that it had canceled the sandpiper. So, you know, I'm a person, I mean, you know, you hung out with me for five, 10 minutes here now. I mean, I guess to say like, I, I, I have a lot of faith. I think you should pray hard and always do the right thing, you know? And uh, like, even if you don't know what's gonna, the consequences are gonna be, you should always just try to do the right thing. And be really grateful, because like, look where we live. You can still drink the water from a lake. You know what I'm saying? You go to the Boundary Waters, you can still drink the water from a lake. And, and we got good, you know, beautiful territory here, and you can get sugar from a tree and rice. You know, and I feel like, you know, Creator put us all here. And, um, you know, so I, I wanna keep that deal that I call the covenant. We call it the covenant that you have with the Creator. And uh, I want to keep trying to, you know, take good care of things, whether it's people or whether it's our, you know, our world around us. And, uh, and um, you know, keep, keep the deal because we got good things here to take care of. So, you know, she talks about civic engagement. You know, I was someone that was raised that, you know, you should try to do the right thing. And, you know, um, you, should, you have to stand up and say if something's wrong. That's how I was raised. And, um, but I also, and I'm someone that wants the system to work. I want people who are elected to office to be honest people. I don't want them to, you know, have their feel, have their, their themselves their eyes clouded by large corporations or by, you know, bad ideas. And uh, I want a system where people don't have to be afraid that they're going to get shot if they want to protect the water. I want uh, a system where, you know, people can be treated with dignity in the land that the Creator put them upon. You know, and, and I also want to feel like 50 years from now that this community here, Detroit Lakes or Becker Colony or White Earth, our territory, that, we get, that we're good. You know, that we all have good water and we all treat each other good. And that we, you know, our, our lakes are good and healthy. And that our children, you know, are, are healthy and that, you know, that's what I want and I feel like that's a pretty simple thing to want. But in order to make sure that happens, it seems like you gotta do a lot, you know? And so that's a little bit my story, which I think is a lot of people's stories, you know? Is, you know, sometimes you gotta, to, in order to make sure things are gonna work out, you can't sit on the sidelines. You know, it's not, you can't, uh, it's not a spectator sport, democracy, nor is life. You know, so, proud to live here, Becker County, White Earth Reservation. I went to school in uh, Moorhead, Moorhead State University, and I grew up in central Minnesota. And so um, I'm somebody who understands the value and the preciousness of our natural resources here. And so I know that 40% um, of the lakes are, are compromised by agriculture in the south. And it seems like the lakes that are the most pristine are the ones that are now being threatened by pipelines and, and mining. And so I do feel like it's really, um, inspirational to watch how um, you've mobilized your community and your family and how much work you've done on behalf of so many people and I really um, admire you. We're, tr we're trying, pick it, we're trying. So the name of uh, the documentary feature film following Winona LaDuke and her family and community is called First Daughter and the Black Snake and it's available on Amazon and iTunes you can go to my website at blacksnakefilm.com to see the trailer. 
and I hope that you will have an opportunity to see the film. Thanks so much for all of your interest and for, you know, keeping this fabulous place for, for all of us.